Hey guys, it's Quinn. In episode 25 of the fundraising series, we're going to be taking a look at a film which just makes me miss the James Bond series, 2019's Knives Out. Knives Out stars Daniel Craig, Chris Evans, Jamie Lee Curtis, and many others, an ensemble cast of characters who get wrapped up in a murder mystery. Now, I'll talk about Daniel Craig in a moment, but I want to start with the rest of the suspects in this film. The entire point of a murder mystery, and what makes it fun, really, is for the audience to figure out who's done it. If you have one weak link acting-wise, then I think it all sort of falls flat in its face because it becomes too obvious where the film's going. I think what this film does very well, and because of the acting of everyone involved, is you really have no idea where this film is going. Everyone acts incredibly conniving throughout, which makes the film more fun because there is no weak performance that causes the entire plot to be too obvious. Particular shout out to Michael Shannon, who I think it's pretty fair to say gives the best performance in this film for really playing up his positive and negative attributes of his character. Although I think all the suspects were great, I do think Daniel Craig is sort of the odd man out in this film. Obviously he's the detective, so he's going to be naturally distant from some of the characters. I do want to be upfront, you know, this is a James Bond channel, so I've given many thoughts on Daniel Craig in the past. And what I think about Daniel Craig as an actor is I think it takes him a little bit of time to get comfortable in his roles before the ball really starts rolling. I don't think this film is too much of an exception. And I do have to say, I actually liked him for most of this film. The one thing that drove me nuts, and I think this is pretty unanimous for people that have seen this film, is the accent was a little too forced, which really annoyed me and took me out of the film at some points. I think the storytelling aspect of this film, though, was fantastic. There is a balancing act that murder mysteries have to do. You can either reveal too little and therefore the audience just can't follow the logic of what's going on, or if you reveal too much, you kind of give away the plot and there's no fun to it. That's the biggest sort of tension in murder mysteries that I've at least seen recently, and I think Knives Out really nails it by hitting it in the middle. It's a crazy story with more turns and dead ends than the Winchester Mystery House, yet this film never reveals its hand until it really has to. Thus, for a two plus hour film, it's intense the entire time. Now, I've heard complaints that this film doesn't have enough twists in it, but I personally disagree. It's a murder mystery, so if there's like 20 red herrings, I think it would become unrealistic, which is why this film deserves a lot of credit. For it's such a dense plot with so many intriguing characters, yet I never found myself really calling BS to what was going on. Overall, if my biggest complaint, especially as a James Bond fan, is the accent that Daniel Craig does, I hope that demonstrates just how highly I regard this film. It's a great crime mystery with lots of humor along the way. It's like if Game Night, which is a film I reviewed previously, went the serious route instead of the comedic. You know, it's not Hitchcock, but I think it's close enough. Thus, I would give it a rating of, go out of your way to watch it. This video is sponsored by a resident of Southern California. This channel is committed to giving every American an equal opportunity in this country, which is why all proceeds will be donated to the NAACP Legal Defense Fund. Thank you for watching, and remember, black, white, left, right, we're all in this together. I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.